Yo, what's up, my empathic ninjas and warriors? This is your boy, JC Desmond. Welcome to Love Over Narcissism. Um, please take the time to comment, share, like, subscribe, dislike, press that dislike button twice. Our topic for today will be love cannot save the narcissist. Um, it's pretty sad. I'm I'm going to be honest with you. Um, narcissists had... They, for the most part, they've had it pretty rough, and I'm not I'm not trying to you know play devil's advocate here, but you know the reason why they became what they became was because they had a traumatic childhood that was filled with either abuse or some kind of a neglect, or even overindulgence where they were uh, you know they were never called out on any of their bad behavior or they were just given too much. But any but in any case, they were you know, their growth was stunted. And so they have a relatively negative outlook on life. Um, the feelings of negativity and the feelings of being, uh, feeling alone and, and, and kind of getting the bad end of the stick is very real to them. You know, they very much feel like they are alone in this world. Um, so they, so for them, it's like, you know, survival of the fittest. You know, they need to get theirs first over anybody else. So what happens when they meet somebody who is caring, giving, and will give them all the love? You know, people have asked me if, uh, you know, sometimes people just need more love. They need to see that they are, uh, in fact worthy of having love in their lives and the and the problem with this way of thinking is that narcissists at a very early age have already abandoned that mindset far long ago have already abandoned this mindset of accepting love and just wanted to accept you know validation to make themselves feel important you know, they never learned empathy, or if they did, it's very, very, very low, a low amount of empathy. So they they can't connect with people, you know. They really don't know how to connect with people. They don't know how to love, and they don't know what it feels like, you know, to to really witness other people's pain or anything. They They simply don't care. Now, when you love someone, you you feel that person's pain. When somebody's going through pain, you feel it deeply. You want to help that person. Um, the problem with this is that narcissistic people or pathologically narcissistic people just see it as an opportunity to, to manipulate, you know? Um, they have such... Their growth is so stunted, and they are in such a cycle that they, even if in the beginning they can sense that you love them or they can sense that you, you're genuine, it's going to eventually be overshadowed by their negative feelings of, uh, of them not trusting you, them thinking that the, the rug is going to come out from underneath them. They, they are pessimistic people. So in order for them to protect themselves from potentially being hurt, they have to hurt you. Um, and in most cases, they're just manipulative people who get off on hurting others, which, that, which gives them supply. So when somebody asks me, can you, know, can you love, can you show the narcissist that you can, uh, that you, you are true to yourself and that you won't hurt them. Well, no, you you really can't because they can't even show it themselves. You know, remember they don't see our world the way we see it. You know, we have empathy, we have love in our hearts, and they don't. So they don't understand it. What they understand is what they understand. Um, survival of the fittest. Get what you can. Get in. Get out. Um, take. 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 Um, I am worthless. I am useless. I am jealous of everybody around me. It's a whole kind of a whirlwind of negative thoughts and feelings going on in their mind. And 
they've gone over this process all over and over and over again with other people who have tried to show them love, tried to show them sympathy, tried to help them. But these people are maladaptive and they're not looking for help. They're looking for the next come up. Okay? See, it all boils down to the fact that we as people who have empathy are always holding out for hope. Right? We're holding out for hope that we can somehow fix this disordered person. This, Unfortunately for these people, that, that hope has been lost a long time ago. And their life is now set in stone. They will not change and they will go on the rest of their lives running after something that doesn't exist. Running after the perfect love or, you know, or, uh, you know, unlimited success and money, beauty and fame. And they're never going to get it because no matter what, they're never satisfied. You know, a narcissist can be the richest person in the world. They're never going to be satisfied. No matter what you do for them, it's never going to be enough. And it comes to the point where you're going to have to kind of sit down and say to yourself, I'm going to have to accept that this person that I love doesn't love me back. This person that I want to help doesn't want any help. See, narcissistic people don't believe that they need any help because in their mind, everything is normal. They're normal, and we're the ones that are off. See, the reason why we feel the way we feel is because we all grew up and we all learned empathy, but if you didn't learn these things, how would you even know what to feel? How would you even know how it feels? If you grew up not knowing what it's like to love, how would you know what love feels like? I mean, you've seen people exhibit it, and maybe you can copy that, but you wouldn't know what it actually feels like, okay? So when somebody's trying to show it to you, to you, if you are a narcissist and they're trying to show that to you, you're just going to take it as, what does this person want from me? What is this person trying to do? They're trying to trick me to get something out of me. There's no convincing them. These people are stuck in their ways and they're not trying to get out of it. Mostly it's due to fear because they fear that people are always out to get them. And for the most part, you know, it's kind of true because they've laid such waste to so many people that, you know, people are out looking for revenge. People are out for blood. Um, no matter what you do, that inner dialogue will never go away for them. So no matter how much love you show them and no matter how much understanding you give them, that love is never going to go, that, that, that voice is never going to go away from them. That voice in their head is going to always tell them, you are worthless. They're always going to feel intense jealousy when they see people like you and I who can succeed and who can grow. They're always going to be hateful towards us because we have what they don't. And they don't understand it. So because they don't understand it, they're not gonna they're not gonna show love. They're not gonna they're not even gonna know how to process process it when you show it to them. And so that comes that decision that you have to make. Yeah, I have to let it go. Either that or live a life where I am constantly conforming to this person's grandiose way of thinking. You know, it's, it's, it's not a way to live. And unfortunately, these people are bound to their, uh, their ultimate destiny, which is a life of basically Groundhog Day. You know what I mean? Constantly going in circles, spinning in that cycle. It'll never get better for them. They're not willing to change. And you giving them love and giving them support is only an opportunity for them to open that door and take everything from you. You got to just, you know, you got to leave them alone. And you have to go no contact. I hope you guys got some clarity out of this video. 
Um, we are about to reach 1,000 subscribers, which I am absolutely grateful for. And um, just want to say thank you to everybody who have supported. Um, you know, like I said before, I don't claim to be this end all know it all about narcissism. I'm learning a lot myself now, but what I want to do is I want to be a motivational piece for a lot of people who are finding it hard to break free and to believe in themselves because it can be very hard once you go through that. Um, but trust me when I tell you, if you believe in yourself and you work on yourself and you put in the effort to fix yourself, you will absolutely get there and you will absolutely love yourself and respect yourself. Love over narcissism. Take care.